You're welcome. Thank you. I like to do charity work. When you watch Nita Pai in action, it just gives me a lot of joy. You'd never guess that not long ago, she almost died from a debilitating bleeding disease. My first symptom was nosebleed. Not just any nosebleed. My nosebleeds were so severe, it would be just gushing like you would turn on the tap. They happen constantly and for no reason. Nita would faint from blood loss. Any minor thing would make my nose bleed. If I pinch my nose hard, the blood would go up in my ears, up in my head, I would get severe headaches. I don't know where it went. And of course, down the throat to the stomach. And my mouth would be full of blood. Nobody could stop it. For years, she suffered with no answers to her questions of why. Oh, they were terrible. I had no life, absolutely no life. The bleeds worsened, and after one extreme episode, Nita went into cardiac arrest. Her heart stopped. A Mayo Clinic emergency department team brought her back. After that experience, I just didn't want to live. Hope and answers finally came to Nita when she met Dr. Vivek Iyer. He diagnosed her with a hereditary condition called HHT. HHT stands for hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. People with the disorder develop tufts or tangles on their blood vessels. So it basically affects blood vessels in almost every part of the body. So, and the most major areas of concern are the brain, the lungs, uh, the nose, and the intestines and the liver. And these tangles tend to bleed spontaneously. In fact, Dr. Iyer and his colleagues found that bleeding is the most important reason for hospitalization among HHT patients in the United States. Dr. Iyer says frequent nosebleeds in these patients reduces quality of life and can be life-threatening. That can be catastrophic and can lead to death or severe uh, disability. But Dr. Iyer and his research team have found a way to help stop the bleeding with a medication called Avastin, or bevacizumab. It's a cancer drug that prevents tumors from growing new blood vessels. So we took that idea from the cancer world and it worked out really, really well. Dr. Iyer tested the drug in a study and results show it can be life-changing for patients like Nita. It's administered via infusion. Nita says the medication has saved her. I had no bleeds. Yeah, it's given me my life back. Nita pays it forward with her volunteer work and she appreciates every single moment. Thank you. I'm so full of gratitude. I count my blessings every day. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.